Hi, I'm Tanya A. Prince, and this is Learn EFT in Minutes. If you choose to use the information contained within this video, you must take full responsibility for the results you achieve. Today, I'm going to be taking you through an EFT approach called Chase the Pain. Chase the pain is typically used with pain issues and also physical problems, such as any problem that might limit our ability to move freely. The first thing you need to do when using the chase the pain approach is identify a problem that you want to work on. For the purposes of this video, we'll use a pain in the shoulder. Now that we've identified a problem, we need to evaluate it. We ask the question, what do you need to do to get this problem now? Some people might answer that question by saying they don't need to do anything in order to get the problem because it's constantly there. Other people, however, may need to move in order to get their problem. For example, a client I worked with recently had no pain at all or no problem when he held his arm down by his side. However, when he moved it to a 30 degree angle away from his side, he experienced pain. It's often very useful to get the person to demonstrate whatever they need to do in order to get the problem. Always bear safety in mind, so if you get a person to move, only take it to the point where the problem begins, therefore minimizing any distress. Now you've identified what the person needs to do in order to get the problem, you now want to get the details about the problem itself by asking them the question, what are you now experiencing? Chase the pain works much more effectively if you get a very detailed description. And we're looking for a very detailed description of the quality of the feelings they're experiencing. In order to get a detailed description of the quality of the problem, we ask questions. One of which is, where precisely are you feeling that? We're looking for the location of the problem within the body. Another question we often use is, what is the quality of that feeling? You're looking for descriptive terms. And what is the intensity of that? An example of a detailed description would be burning pain in the socket of my left shoulder. Now we have the words that represent the problem. We've also established whether the problem is there constantly or whether the person needs to move in order to get the problem. And if they do need to move, we also know what precise movement they need to do. So we now have a way of testing. So now it's time to do EFT on the problem. We start by tapping on the karate point with nice, gentle percussion. And we say the words, even though I have this burning pain in the socket of my left shoulder, I completely, I totally love and approve of myself. We repeat this three times whilst we continue to tap. Then we begin to tap on the top of the head position. And we just say the words that represent the problem, the burning pain in the socket of my left shoulder. We tap on the eyebrow point, again repeating the reminder phrase, the words that represent the problem. The side of the eye point, under the eye, under the nose, on the chin, on the collarbone, and under the arm. Each time repeating the phrase, the burning pain in the socket of my left shoulder. Now we reevaluate the problem by checking what does a person now need to do in order to get the problem. And when they do that, 
how would they describe the quality of that experience, that problem, now? Using the example from earlier of the man who could only move his arm 30 degrees away from his leg, after a round of EFT, he was able to move it to a 45 degree angle. It is quite typical when using the chase the pain approach after tapping a round of EFT for the quality of the pain or problem to change. So what starts out as a burning pain in the socket of my left shoulder could just as well become an aching pain in the left side of my neck. We then use the new descriptive words to tap another round of EFT. We begin by tapping on the karate point and say the words, even though I have this aching pain in the left side of my neck, I completely, I totally love and approve myself. Repeat that three times on the karate point and then begin to tap from the top of the head position the eyebrow, the side of the eye, the under the eye, the under the nose, the chin, collarbone and under the arm. On each point, repeating the words, the aching pain in the left side of my neck. Having completed the round of EFT, we now re-evaluate the problem. Again, checking, what do you now need to do to get that problem now? Again, note any changes in the movement that the person needs to do. And also, get a new description of the quality of the pain or sensation. How would you now describe that? Where precisely is that? And what is the intensity of that? And we use the new description to tap a round of EFT. Repeat the process of tapping and then re-evaluating, tapping and re-evaluating until you reach a place of resolution where there is no longer any limitation of movement or pain associated with the problem. When you've reached this point, you've completed the chase the pain approach.